Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at adjustments and the selective colour control. And when then in this we're going to go down to blacks. So let's see what happens here when we just adjust a black area like this. If I move the red upwards here, I am adding red, black there is no colour, so I'm just turning up the red channel. If I go the other way, oh, there's nothing to turn down. Similarly with greens and blues. Notice this is with the relative checked here. With relative checked when you're doing whites, there's very limited effect. If I turn this off, I'm going to get a similar effect. So this has less effect than it does with the whites. So with the blacks as well, I can push this towards white and push this towards black if it's tinted any other way. So if I turn this up to red, if I turn this down there, it again pushes that back. If I go to the rectangle here, and change the colour here, as long as all three are less than 50%, then blacks will be selected. Any one of those goes above 50% and the controls won't have any effect. So I can still change this, but notice as I move away from the pure black here, then it's going to have less effect. Even if you turn this up, it's not going to white or black, it's going to make it darker and lighter. The full black or near black, then you're going to get a stronger effect. Let's have a look at this on a photograph. If I go back to Selective Colour and I go to Blacks and I'll just leave that relative on. Then if I move to the left here, I am adding red. This is additive as opposed to whites, which is subtractive. So it's going to get brighter effectively. I can change the colour of Blacks. So if I turn up the greens a little bit and I turn up the yellows or the blues effectively more, I'm going to get a bit of a teal here because I'm putting in more blue because this is a red, green and blue control. The more you go to the left, the more red, green and blue you get. And I can modify that with the blacks, make it more black or make it lighter. In fact, pushing it as well the way towards white. This gives me the ability to correct for any colours in the blacks, so effectively doing a kind of black balance. It also means I can put colours into blacks. So, for example, creating a kind of orange and teal effect, where the orange will be put into the whites, the teal will be put into the blacks. So I've got a fair amount of control here. The relative does have an effect. Let's push this out more. But it's not very much. In a kind of an opposite way to the whites where you turn that on and off, it can have quite a significant effect. But you can create the effects, adjust it by darkening it or even lightening it, and balancing it out so you can colour the blacks any way that you want to do. That's it and thank you very much for watching.